The following night, the two losers, France and Canada, had a score to settle to get into the plate final in damp conditions, making it very interesting play. Uh, all other all all countries are really, really tough. They got a lot of experience. We play USA and uh, yeah, on Wednesday and uh, today we play Canada. It's really strong side and I really enjoy being here for my first time. And, uh, and uh, we, we, we play pretty good rugby and uh, uh, I'm really enjoyed uh, really going that way. Before the South Africa Pumas clash, the heavens opened, setting the scene for a forward dominated scrap. Oh, we know we've played against Virginians before and uh, we know they, they love to niggle uh, and, and steal a ball uh, on the ground. Uh, so we I think the forwards did a really good job at trying to just secure the ball and uh, make sure they don't uh, steal opposition. Conditions were weren't uh, really that good, but the boys managed to pull it off. Our defence was good and the boys stuck to our guns and we could rely on our defence and we got the win. At half time, the SA Legends were in front. Oh, look, we just had to hold the pressure that we've spoken about in the day. I mean, they're a, they're a talented side, they run the ball beautifully, they also quite big and physical in the forward, so we, we had to keep making the tackles and, and squeeze them into pressure, enough pressure to make mistakes, so we just try to keep that up in the, in the second half. Look, the weather helped us, you've got to admit, but I think the boys put their bodies on the line, it was a privilege to be out there. It was some bone jarring hits there. I think mean, they really felt about 20, not 35 or 40. Well, there's two sides you've got to look out for. I mean, it's uh, the Aussies and the British and Irish Lions because one of them is going to be through. The Aussies have got a lot of league stars, Brad Fittler, Joey Johns, a couple of guys I played against for many years, Matt Danning in the front row, Nathan Williams. There's some big, strong players there. And uh, you've got to watch them. And then the British Lions have always been competitive. They're a tough tackling outfit and they carry the ball nicely. So we'll come and watch them tomorrow and then we've all got a day and a bit to, to prepare and I think it's going to be a big final. Last year's champions from South America couldn't penetrate the resilient Bok defence and Bob Skinstad's men would be happy with the 17-7 win to go into the final facing Australia in two days time.